Around the world, communities are embracing clean and healthy solutions to fight the climate crisis. With a global agreement now in place, the time for action is now. Josh Gilbert is one of the country's most influential young farmers. The 23-year-old put climate change on the agenda at this year's New South Wales Farmers Conference and won majority support. I think young farmers have always grown up with the idea of climate change. Uh, we've learnt it at school, we're, we've engaged with it quite a lot more. What our motion did was transform a very conservative view of climate change actually not being real. The resolution that we've passed was the New South Wales farmers acknowledge seasonal variability, exacerbated by a changing climate, and support its members playing an active role in this issue. And that was passed unanimously. Of all the developed countries of the world, Australia is the most vulnerable. Bushfires, droughts, and that sort of thing, impacts are already occurring that we can attribute to climate change. Sun bleached bones and parched earth, indicators of a severe drought in northern New South Wales. The bad news is the drought is showing no sign of breaking. The native pastures that grow here are long gone. It's the farmers that get clobbered. They're the ones whose crops fail. They're the ones whose cattle suffer when it's too hot and too dry. So they've got to do something about it. With all the farmers, they've seen everything before. They've seen fires and floods and they're impacted by drought a lot of the times. <laughs> the hard bit for us is connecting those changes that they see on their land that they've seen before and try and tell them that man-made climate change is actually really affecting this a lot worse. And what about the weather? Do you think there's been a change in that? Or the weather, do you think? Yeah, it's well, it's been dry all, all over. I think it's really been about asking the question, yeah, saying, hey, this is what we, we strongly believe in, we know it's impacting what we do, but how does that impact the farm and how can we share that with older farmers? Things get Everything worse. Everything changes somewhere along the line, like you might, you might think it's going to be a dry and then all of a sudden you get the floods in. Yeah. What Joshua and his colleagues are doing is shifting attitudes more generally in the rural sector. When people from these walks of life start talking about the risks of climate change and that we need to do something about it, people certainly listen more than they do to politicians. They probably listen more to these trusted voices than they do to climate scientists. My family have been farming the same land for over 40,000 years. Aboriginal people such as myself have a real connection to the land. So it's really important to me and our family that people can continue farming for 40,000 years into the future. Innovators are hard at work. We can make climate action a reality together. We're on the road forward. <laughs>